So, uh, my name is Valdir Barbosa. I'm from Brazil. I member the Brazilian community, LibreOffice, and uh, I work at the Paulista State University, UNESP. Um, I try talk a bit about the, how we got great states. Uh, Paulista University, State University, one major public university of Brazil. Today, have 34 colleges in 24 cities. Over 3,800 professors and uh, 7,000 administrative employees. The UNESP offers 102 undergraduate programs and 123 graduate programs and prepares students for six, eight careers in now 24 campuses. Where everything started? Um, it started in Ilha Solteira, a small municipality in the state of Sao Paulo, with uh, 26,000 inhabitants. The municipality is one of the 24 that have university campus of UNESCO. Uh, it's my little seat uh, with your beautiful landscape and the university, UNESP campus. How do all we started? In August uh, 206, approval the implementation of a pre software in an administration of UNESP in campus Ilha Solteira. The work was clarify the reasons of the use Firefox, Thunderbird, BR Ops, uh, and the training users in free software apps in February uh, started. Um, continuous capacitation in Ruby Office in 2009 started training in Linux. In 2009, um, started operation system replacement in the administrative computers, and 95 percent of computers of administration uh, work in Linux. We maintain the Microsoft Windows where it's strictly need only. Um, yet in 2009, was created the Institutional Development Plan, a program of strategic management covering several dimensions of university, how undergraduate, graduate, search, and administration. Uh, with migration success for the software Free software of faculty of engineer of Ilha Solteira, the project was extended for at all university in administrative area. In 2011, uh, it started awarding as the community through awareness lectures and the clarification of the project objectives. Everybody have a natural hesitation the chance. 
we can add to that the legacy of more 20 years of using Microsoft Office. However, since the 80s, have gone through several changes in Office application. Uh, I visit each of the 34 university units to break or reduce this resistance. In 2011, uh, we started training in LibreOffice in our community, UNESP, and uh, user support. More than 3,000 training users. And we still have a lot of work, but uh, uh, we have uh, 7,000 employees. Just making an observation, the professors uh, were invited to join the migration to LibreOffice, but without obligation. We hope that over time they feel the need to use LibreOffice when since the documents will be exchanged or made <coughs> available in ODF format. In 2012, um, that's good would li uh, if we use LibreOffice and ODF, where just uh, raise awareness and clarify. But, uh, no, um, it has been necessary to prepare two ordinances. First, to buy computers, prioritize the use of free software, and second, recommending adoption of the open document formats. Um, we define a free software usage policy at the university with application that is replacing proprietary software. The students, uh, the Liberty Office have been installed in teaching laboratories. A uh, template of academic work format for LibreOffice is available for the students. This template is a motivation for use of LibreOffice uh, and students. And I soon will be offered course of LibreOffice in distance learning. Um, to 15, 2015, um, document to comply with. Uh, finally, we set a deadline for the FTV use of LibreOffice and ODF. This is already, already been set in free software use policy, but was no, not respected. This document was sent by the Hector to Hector E and our directors in university units. And they find it the month of September 2015 to start the effective use of LibreOffice in October, the record exchange and available of documents at university should be using the UDF format. But uh, this is not happened. The challenge, uh, the distance, uh, it's a great challenge. We have colleges with distances of 700 to 800 kilometers. And we have to train more than 7,000 employees. So uh, we had the, the idea of creating the course LibreOffice distance. This year, 
uh, still in, uh, in production. These courses are available initially for the UNESP community and will be subsequently available uh, for the other institutions with university extension certificate or not, uh, with uh, mentoring or not. Um, the university, the things don't happen as we wanted. We begin to press the Committee of Information Technology to set a timetable with uh, deadlines for change. So in February 55, the university board, composed of our directors of Unity University, approved the calendar for use of LibreOffice and ODF. The LibreOffice became the official office switch and ODF the standard format of university. Finally, with a little delay, there are two months left due to uh, normative instructions. The goal is to guide and support teams and users on the procedures for installing LibreOffice and full migration uh, of your files to the UDF format. Of course, you, uh, we will live uh, together uh, with the Microsoft formats, but we hope uh, that this will decrease with time. This was a great uh, achievement for us after five years of hard work. Therefore, uh, we are observing and the provisions of the normative instructions are being followed. Thanks so much. <laughs>